on today's episode. So some time ago I bought one of these uh, power banks that uh, has a solar charging panel on it as well. Um, before I even got to use the guy, uh, when I got it out of the box, I found that the, the cells in, inside it had, uh, had, had blown to the point where it actually lifted the, the solar panel off the top of the, of the unit. So they're completely useless. And uh, I thought, what can I do to, to repair it? Now I had one of these um, uh, hobby style um, lithium packs, uh, one of the three cell variety of which one of the cells was completely shot. So I have these two which are, are okay. Uh, the challenge being that in this application the cells are wired in, in series uh, to make it up to uh, a higher voltage obviously. And for this guy uh, they need to be uh, in parallel to, uh, to get higher capacity and remain with the, the 3.7 to 4.2 volts. Um, so took the, part, the pack apart. Um, the challenge being uh, in the process, I have one uh, terminal that is uh, I need to solder a wire to. Now this is a challenge because these terminals are actually made of aluminium and so normal solder it just won't touch it, you'll just get a nice shiny bubble and the thing will fall off. So uh, Looking at in my uh, stock of, of uh, stuff from many years ago, I managed to find a reel of aluminium solder and I'm uh, going to have a go with, with that. Um, the other thing is you need, obviously you don't want to spend too much time uh, with heat on these, these uh, types of cells, otherwise you could have a, a fire or explosion on your hands. Um, so you want something with uh, sufficient uh, thermal mass, so your, your normal little soldering iron bit is um, not going to cut it for this. And I've cleaned the, cleaned the, the cell already, or the, the tab, with um, just a wire brush on the end of the, of the Dremel there. And uh, given it also an additional scrape, you can see the, the silvering there with the, a with the scalpel. So we're pretty much good to go. So let's see how this works. So we get our, our iron tinned. We'll put the solder down. Yes, that's solder, by the way. Yeah, last time I checked, it had an L in it. Solder. So there's a goodly amount of smoke and the solder has actually uh, taken to it. Um, the thing is with aluminium, uh, if you saw this, this joint uh, on a normal solder joint, you'd say it may, may be a dry joint because it's uh, a very dull colour. But that's just the way it is with, with aluminium, aluminium. And if you scrape the top of it there, you can see uh, that in fact it's a nice shiny joint. So what I'm going to do now... Uh, by the way, this is the, the, the positive side, I think. We'll check that. Yes, yeah, so that's the, the, the positive connection. Uh, for some time, some reason, the, the positive connections seem to be more difficult to, uh, to solder to. Not entirely sure why that is. So here's the other cell which I've already done. So I've got a bit of, bit of wire on there. So what I need to do is to, to wire these in, uh, in parallel. So that positive is going to go to this positive here. So that's the soldering to the cells complete. Okay, it's not pretty, but it's, uh, it's functional. So here's the, um, the layout, the assembly, just before putting it all back together. Uh, I've got the wires soldered on there and you can see that it's working with the just give me an in indication there so I'll get it put back together and uh, put it in the sun